What's up my friends, today we are going over everything to expect in the 24.10 update they'll be releasing by tomorrow. From brand new weapons and augments being added, to mysterious teasers released by Fortnite France, to Aaron Jaeger having a second page now confirmed. Today, we are going to get directly into it. Starting with this mysterious teaser that Fortnite France has now posted. We have really no idea what this teaser means just yet. There's a 4 written on the fish, and I'm sure there's going to be a few speculations floating around. Some have said that it might be a reference to the upcoming Star Wars collaboration, aka May the 4th be with you while others theorize that it could be a teaser for the upcoming April Fool's type of mini event, as April is the fourth month of the year. Some even say that the last time they did something like this, they were actually teasing Chapter 4, so possibly could be some more teasers. I personally think that it could possibly mean a fourth version of the flopper could now be in the works, as there's currently only three of them. But let me know what you guys think. Comment your opinion and a fish emoji for the algorithm. Alright, so now let's move on to some weapons, augments, and updates. Smart Pistol Man, I think this weapon is going to be absolutely controversial in the Fortnite community. The Smart Pistol will probably be loved by some and hated by others, but it's no doubt different than any other weapon we've ever had in the game so far, as it pretty much has auto-aim. Here are some information we have about how this weapon actually works. The enemy lock-on time is about 0.44 seconds, the lock-on delay after firing the weapon is about 0.5 seconds, and the lock-on range is about 5,000 of a second. The weapon currently is still a work in progress, but can be expected to release in the game very soon, possibly by tomorrow. I theorize this will be a rare weapon, or maybe it will be featured inside of a mythic chest as it's going to be likely very overpowered. By the way, comment down below if you guys think this will last in competitive. My vote, absolutely not. Return of the Submachine Gun Originally introduced in the game in Season 5, and last seen on January 29th of 2019, the Submachine Gun will finally be making its return once again. It's been vaulted and unvaulted and vaulted and unvaulted many times. It only makes sense to bring it back again and let us enjoy it for the time being. Is this a weapon you guys look forward to actually being brought back though? And which SMG is your favorite? I usually don't even carry SMGs, but even though the Rapid Fire SMG was vaulted last season, that one definitely had to be one of my personal favorites. Spring Fling Event aka Easter The Spring Fling Event is soon to be expected inside of Fortnite, as April is right around the corner. If you're curious to know every single detail about this event, I covered it in a huge video a few days ago, where I covered the Spring Event, Easter, all the rewards, and so much more. But just in case you guys don't want to watch that, here's a quick summary. The place with their name is set to be the Spring Fling. This update will bring challenges to level up and gain XP, as well as brand new augments. New spring themed eggs and golden eggs will be scattered around the map that will grant you healing and low gravity abilities. Three brand new chickens will be spawned across the map that will lay items and eggs that you guys can use to your advantage. And of course, last but not least, the beloved egg launcher will temporarily be unvaulted. Not to mention there is going to be brand new NPCs in the game that will sell you the egg launcher. So we can definitely look forward to that as well. Your favorite brand new augments. More information on upcoming Fortnite augments. Melee Siphon will grant you 10 HP per melee elimination. That one's gonna be overpowered. Consume Increase gives you the ability to speed up time when consuming forged items by 1.25 times. The Heavy Ammo Reload grants weapons with heavy ammo to be 25% faster reload times. Aquatic Warrior allows you to heal up to 100 HP and 50 shields when inside of water. Your speed while in the water will also increase by 1.2 times. Light Ammo Recycle. There will be a 20% chance for weapons with light ammo to not use ammo. And lastly, the Heavy Ammo Cycle. This gives you a 20% chance for snipers to not use ammo, which I think might be in the game already, not quite sure. My personal favorite, brand new map changes. For the past several weeks, we've been noticing some subtle yet noticeable changes being made to the map, including a new building at Mega City, several new houses at Kenjutsu Crossing, Two new houses south of Frenzy Fields. Steamy Springs has been expanding, more random houses in the northwest area of the biome, and even a brand new island. If you guys have noticed any sort of change that was not mentioned, please let me know over on Twitter at Happy Power. Super Styles Tomorrow we are expected to get some information on the new Super Styles for this battle pass. As of right now though, we are currently unsure what they are going to be, but I bet they are going to look pretty dang cool. Reboot Rally at long last, we can expect Reboot Rally to be coming back with this brand new update. Reboot Rally is an event in which you can invite returning friends or new players to play and earn cosmetic rewards together. Typically, you'd click your friend's name if they have a reboot symbol next to their icon, and then select Rally Him Back and complete challenges together to earn free rewards. A lot of people seem to be excited about the Beast Brawler being a brand reward. The potential rewards for this season's Reboot Rally are currently placeholder sadly though, but currently they say the X-34's Landspeed Glider, the 1's and 0's Wrap, of course the exclusive and infamous Beast Brawler Glider and the classic Battle Bus Icon. Once again, these will likely be placeholders, so don't get too hyped. April's Crew Pack, very excited for this one. 
Brand new exclusive crew packs come out each month for $11.99, which also grants you full access to the current season's battle pass every single month. April's crew pack screen was leaked by Epic, no surprise. And I think it's safe to say that it's definitely going to be the Triarch Nox skin that's currently an NPC on the Fortnite Island. He's likely going to be the April crew pack. In the background of the teaser, we can see a part that looks like his mask, and the color scheme just fits his description way too well. So it must be him. Bug patches this update. Some general issues will of course be patched in this 24.10 update, some of which include missing zip lines and party royale, battle royale and zero build top issues, creative top issues, save the world top issues, and mobile and cloud gaming issues that cause some devices to be capped at 60 FPS despite selecting 90 FPS. Don't worry guys, it will all be resolved by tomorrow. Aaron Yeager update. Page 2 my boys. It was pretty much confirmed today that Aaron Yeager's secret skin will also be getting a second page on the battle pass. We highly anticipate this due to a loading screen that is currently blacklisted with this codename Clear Radius. Honestly, this is super exciting, but again, I don't think I want to see naked Aaron. What did he say? Lumi slash Gelatin. I know, weird. Forded Assist tweeted, Epic has started working on Lumi and Gelatin versions of Torin and the Black Knight, just like the recent Lumi Jelly skin. This matches up perfectly with the Lumi Torin in the Fortnite survey and the Black Knight version as well. So in lamest terms, they will be brand new skins. Grim Horizon Bundle According to Wenzo, the Grim Horizon Bundle image is still inside the files, even though the cosmetics still are not visible. When the back bling and the glider are both equipped at the same time, the back bling will visually equip itself whenever you deploy the glider. It has a meta tag for glider detection. Upcoming Specialist NPCs we have some information for you guys about the upcoming specialist NPCs. There will be four types that include Heavy, Medic, Scout, and Supply. They will spawn in new Rift Encounters, and each specialist NPC has their own individual Rift Encounter. You will be able to hire them at the location, and the current NPC used for them at the moment is Lieutenant John Lama. As for the loadouts and functions for each specialist NPC, the Heavy Specialist will carry a rare Maven Shotgun, an uncommon Red Eye AR, and throws grenades. The Medic Specialist carries a rare Twin Mac SMG and grants Chug Splash. Ashes, while the Scout Specialist carries a rare Heavy Sniper plus throws big bush bombs at you. And the Supply Specialist will carry a rare Red Eye AR and additionally gives you random ammunition. Face All YJY Locker Bundle. Hopefully I said that right. The Face All Locker Bundle will be available inside the item shop on April 6th at 8pm ET. So make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled. It will include the Maven Skin, the Pop Dropper Glider, the Wolf Hunter Wrap, Bop and Emote, Tabulator Back Bling, and a T-Square Pickaxe. With this bundle, you'll be ready to play the Calculator LTM. Yes, you heard that correctly, I did say the Calculator LTM. Someone is actually working on that in UEFN, and we just covered it in the previous video. Parkour. Parkour-like movements will be added to Fortnite like wall kicking and wall running. I mentioned this in a previous video, but you can expect these to unravel in the weeks to come. And with that, that's all I have for you guys in today's Fortnite video. That is everything to expect in tomorrow's huge, huge update. It is the first update in several weeks, so it's going to be an absolute fire one, and I can only hope we finally get the release of the rap skins, but no promises. Thanks for watching. Use code HAPPY inside the Fortnite item shop to support the channel. We'll see you guys next time.